back in April of 2024, I uploaded my most ambitious and stupidest project ever. I invited to rank every single Baby First TV show for science, nostalgia, and so you didn't have to go for the same suffering I did. It was a painful, painful video to make, but it was amazing and paid off, as the video performed pretty well, and 200 views is considered successful for my channel. But a few things have happened since my video's release, and I've even um, made a few mistakes in my video. So I'm going to correct those mistakes, and also give you guys some news on what happened after releasing my video. This is the Baby First video, the epilogue. The first thing that happened was that a brand new show was released a month after my video, called The Mini Kids. It's a licensed show, premiering in 2019, and stars some kids and this frickin' purple guy. And they just do stuff. They color and all that. They have a lot of fun. I don't know much about it, personally. But it's the first show to premiere in 2024. And it's not a Feelings Garden show. It has worried me about Baby Versus doing as well doing as a company, since they've only added licensed shows since 2023. They've not made an original show since October of 2022 with Food Screen and What, and it it's not a great thing. Also, let me specify that we are the current era of Baby First is Phase Five which has been the current era of Baby First since 2019. Let me remind you guys that 2019 began was five years ago, which is crazy to think about, but also shows that Baby First is getting a little outdated. And if you want to be even more just broad, Baby First has, kept, has used this redesign since 2014, which, is a, which was a decade ago now, which is crazy. I think we need a phase 6 for Baby First, and we gotta redesign Blossom and Gang. Like, this is just... We've had this for too long. It's coming off as outdated. Maybe do what a lot of companies do. Maybe Baby First should do what a lot of companies do. Stick with that retro feeling, like what Burger King did with their logo in 2020. Or, you know, some others like Fisher Price, that really try to capture that retro feeling. Okay, I was not actually able to find a place to watch Mini Kids, unfortunately. Um, I imagine it's very copyright online, and no one wants to freaking upload it themselves. It's just, no, we cannot find it anywhere. But if you watch Baby First on a day to day basis, tell me what, how the show is. But we have to get to the next step. Next thing. At the end of my Baby First video, I mentioned two characters who I asked who, what shows they were from, because I couldn't identify who they are. Well, the first one, which was thought to be a Goo Goo prototype, is most likely just a crazy theory, because it wouldn't make sense to reuse a character from 2009 and use it for a show that came out in 2017. In the first version of the Baby First music video, Larry and Little Vinny actually appear. But their shows did not air until an, a year later. The next two, which is the granddaughter and grandpa, were thought to be from a show called Camp Terry, but it turns out, after trying to look everywhere for this show, I, I later learned that the show does not exist. <laughs> I don't know where the Camp Terry name came from, but it likely originated from this Lost Media Baby First wiki, which is pretty bare bones and doesn't have much on it. There really is no point in another Baby First wikis besides the main one. But yeah, Camp Terry is not a real show. So what actually I believe these are, were just characters who were supposed to get their own show, but they were scrapped in favor of Larry and Little Vinny. Or they could theoretically be placeholder characters too. But that's it.
And before I get to the big announcement I have at the end, I've kind of teased two months ago, let's go through my baby first video and go ahead and point out some errors that I caught. I'm gonna play a single clip of this show just to show you how poorly made this is. The Shadow Stories clip I played was just literally one example. I have watched more episodes of Shadow Stories, and while it doesn't change my opinion on the show, um, I think I was over-exaggerating how poorly made it actually was, because some of the episodes were just better well made. This one was just a ridiculous example because of stuff like the characters jumping ridiculously and also the ground moving listen they're puppeteers and we can't really control and they can't really control when stuff like that happens honestly so i probably shouldn't have blamed this care the studio for this whoever made whoever worked on shadow stories but i still think the show sucks i'll tell you that I could only find a single episode for this show, and I must say, I was not satisfied with what I watched. What? An idiot. Little did I know that there were actually more episodes of childhood songs available. Well, we have to go to, we have to, go to a channel known as Johanny Aguilar. This channel was infamous for making tons of fake baby first screen bug videos and all that, but credits do where it's at, because... Across the internet, this guy managed to get lost episodes of Childhood Songs and release on his channel. I still think Childhood Songs is a bad show. It's trash. As a side note, I even say it during editing. I don't even mention what I did not like about Super Bebe and So Smart, which led to their low rankings on the list. You already knew this, but I just wanted to mention that too. TV. Mobile TV. Mobile, Mobile 2D is our first case of Baby First having basically lost media. When I said that Mobile 2D was lost, I meant that. There's only one episode available online on Vimeo from the official Baby First account, but that's it. The rest of the show was completely lost. Wow, look at another clone of Baby's little play date. Same thing, nothing else to say. Maybe I should have been a little bit nicer. Little Playdates is not exactly a clone of Babies and Play With Me, because Little Playdates is a licensed show. Little Playdates was a DVD series that featured children's songs. It's not exactly a clone, and it was way better than Babies and Play With Me. And they have some good songs, actually. I don't know why I said that, honestly. Also, was and maybe first, was Haunt 2 and Swoosh Swoosh. Originally airing in 2006, and premiering in 2005 by whatever company man is, it's, 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 it's a Dutch company, I know that. Well, Honk and Swooshes was made by several companies, but yes, it was from the Netherlands, but also from Canada as well. This, this list you see here is kind of inaccurate. Foodie Fables is listed as a feelings garden show, and it's actually part of Imagination Lane. This error on the wiki was corrected later after I pointed it out. I don't know how to pronounce this show's name. It what a fool! Pronounce this show's name. It's pronounced Atención, Atención, which is Spanish for listen up, listen up. Uh, premiering in October 2006, and unfortunately being killed off in February 2016. Well, Widget died even earlier in December of 2015, along with Shipping Majigs and Dinosaurs. Want proof of a thumbnail I took from Google? This screenshot is an edited um, thumbnail of Numbers Farm. You can tell the animals are clearly not from Numbers Farm at all. There's some Google stock photo. Yeah, can you tell that I was lazy? Also part of Hola Bebe. Archie rhymes I've never heard of my life. Adapted in Spanish. Not specified that Sing in English is a licensed show taken from a DVD, which was in English. So, calling it Sing in English and airing it in Spanish, which is probably a unique dub they made, makes no sense. And the nursery rhymes are probably created by themselves. Juno Baby, a license that I believe was bought as Jim Henson Company too. Are you stupid? Juno Baby was its own company. It was never made by the Jim Henson Company. Albert and Jr. This was a collab between Baby Burst and Navi, who sadly are defunct. 
but it's still around. What I guess I'm, I'm surprised it's still around today, to be honest. After 10 years, I guess Junior was made legally distinct enough, so even if the partnership ended, Baby First could actually still air the show technically because he's not actually a real Navi Junior, I guess. But he technically is at the same time. Albert and Junior airing after 10 years is the same reason why My Gym at Home was allowed to air for nine years. And how Zumbini Tom's been able to air for seven years. Baby First did collab with those companies to make the show. But they have the rights to the shows they made. My Gym at Home, Zumbini Time, and Albert and Jr. are all Baby First original because they produced them themselves. So even if they stopped collabing, they would still be allowed to air the show because they made the shows themselves. I don't, I don't, I didn't realize this, but my gym is its own company. And the, the and the proof was, was, was the Baby First website, what it looked like on that day for Baby First Favorites. It wasn't how the website looked. The schedule actually listed all their shows on that day, during Baby First Favorites and other blogs. However, I like to think that this was probably an error put on by Baby First by accident. Hopla was removed from Baby First website after the show stopped airing in December of 2010. And also, Baby First Favorites launched in 2013. It just wouldn't make any sense for somebody to say that they want to watch Where Did They Go unless this was some really devoted Baby First fan. As I said, we have never gotten this airing archive, and Baby First tends to air tons of Baby First Favorite reruns. I have seen Shapes and Sizes and Magic Tunnels be requested before, and they actually did air, but Hopla and frickin' Tinosaurs likely wouldn't ever be allowed to air because Baby First doesn't own the rights to those shows, so there'd be some legal problems if Baby First did. Baby First did keep a lot of their old, gone shows on their website until they redesigned it in February 2017. Around this time, Baby First also removed the Wordies, Mitt and the Kitten, Juno Baby, I Can Sign, and My Gym at Home from their schedule. If you want an example of Baby First messing up their schedule, around May this year, Flo appeared in the schedule. But from an eyewitness, Flo did not actually air. But since they brought it back in 2022, it's possible Baby First still has the rights to air Flo and Wave. But just removed it because they thought no one cared for it. First Impressions is actually really enjoyable. Bay First did air this one from 2006 to 2009, and they, they, they just took segments from the DVDs and just cut them down. I love how I say it's as if they even knew they did that. I mean, they most likely did because they did with Brainy Baby and Baby Einstein. But no footage of First Impressions on Baby First has ever resurfaced because the show aired on Baby First from May 11th, 2006 to August 31st, 2008. And I'm pretty sure the oldest Baby First footage we have, like, a ton of stuff from is from 2008. We don't have really anything from 2006 and a very limited amount of stuff from 2007. Back in April, footage from July 5th, 2007 resurfaced, and a video from May 3rd, 2007 on Baby First was rediscovered. After making that video, I decided to join in on the search team, quote-unquote, because I do believe that we can find all Baby First footage through effort. So, we've looked, I've tried looking everywhere on the internet, and really haven't found much. That was until June 27th, 2024. So we have to go... Well, first off, I have to explain some things. On May 11th of 2024, I learned that Hocus Pocus Circus was actually a different show that aired on Baby First than the one I ranked in the video. They happened to share the same name, but this one didn't exist until 2008 and didn't match with the synopsis Baby First provided on their website. But... That's how I learned that the show we're looking for was Lost. So on June 27th, I tried using Google Lens, took the DVD, and uh, wow. <gasps> Could it be? I was linked to a playlist that had uploads of the show in Arabic. And wow, I managed to find Hocus Pocus Circus. Well, it's actually called Circus Hocus Pocus. Or just Hocus Pocus. Not if you can visit the nice 93 Disney movie, by the way. 
But yeah, the show was found. The show's great. You watch Bomb the Bear and Sack the Elephant. First, there's drawing. And then they have to guess what the object is, or try to find what matches it, and they use the live action footage. Then there's a random act, this rabbit named. Okay. And then Bomb the Bear inflates a balloon, and we get a color. And then you have these two guys, Oops the Rabbit and Quack Quack the Duck. I'm not sure what they do. After that, Sax tells a story, and then they go on to their next adventures. The show was actually from Belgium, and aired on the channel called Catnet from 2004 to sometime in 2009 and 2010, and was introduced to Baby First in 2006, back in June of that year. It was stopped airing in October. I'm not sure why they aired it for four months only. But hey, finding this was incredible. But... That means every Baby First show has been found except for one, Smile. To this day, Smile has still never resurfaced. An owner claimed someone claimed to have owned a July 2006 VHF tape while they actually watched Smile. So theoretically, this person could have just watched every Baby First show like I did and make their video and it would be better than mine. Where would I put Hocus Pocus on the list though? Well, I'd probably put it at number 18 under. So she vibe it better than Harry the Bunny. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'll do like my rankings. Pocus Pocus, man, this show is awesome. That video by Johanny Aguilar, believe it or not, who claimed to be, which claimed to have been from Smile, isn't from Smile. This comes from the Night Symphony DVD, which features Baby sleeping. Doesn't look like they're smiling to me. It's fake. I created an article on the Lost Media Wiki Trying to raise awareness for Smile. Hoping that this show will be found. But maybe one day. I also have this bulletin board, The Mythical Ten. While Dougie in the Skies, Baby Songs, Kids of Spanish, Bibelo, they have episodes available online. On Baby First, they don't. Because hey, that 2007 footage with the Comic Sans logo was an incredible find. Actually, I think it marks the first. TV recording of Where Did They Go ever, because all the others are from broadcast in another country, or DVD releases. But yeah, that's it for my epilogue, updating you guys how, how it's been after I make that baby first video. And that's it. Let me know if you guys really want me to rank shows from other channels too, and I promise to update you guys when Smile is eventually found. Until next time, have a good day.